Hey everybody, welcome back. This is lesson two of our new module, learning about the seven continents. We're gonna begin by looking at our essential question, which is our big, big question that's gonna take us weeks and weeks and weeks to answer. So our essential question says, what makes the world fascinating. So remember we talked yesterday about what that word fascinating means. It means really interesting. If something is fascinating, we are really interested in it. We're curious about it. So today we are going to be looking at this book, this informational text about Asia. And our focusing question for this week and a little bit next week says, what interesting things can people do in Europe and Asia? So yesterday we read our story about Europe and today we're gonna read this book about Asia. So before we begin, we're going to find it on our map. So here's our big map. Remember all of the blue on a map is gonna be the ocean and then the greenish brownish parts that represents the land. So there are seven continents, if we remember, North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia, and Antarctica. We live in North America. That's the name of our continent, North America. More specifically, our country, so North America is our continent, Get a little bit smaller. Our country is the United States of America. A little bit smaller still, our state is Maryland. A little bit smaller still, our city is Baltimore. So we see on the map, here's North America. What we read about yesterday was Europe. And that was over here. We talked about how even though it looks like it's really close together, it's actually separated by this big, huge ocean. But a map is a way for us to look at the whole world um, at one time. So they kind of squeeze things together, right? Um, this is actually pretty far away from us. So today we're going to talk about Asia. So Asia is right next to Europe. And it is one of the seven continents. So your job today, just like yesterday, while you listen to this book, is to think about what do you notice in the book and what do you wonder about? So when you're thinking about what do you wonder about, I want you to use one of these wonder wheel words to form your question. So I wonder where, when, what, why, how and who and your job for today is to comment or message or text your what whoever your teacher is or comment below this video and let us know what do you wonder from the book because we're going to make a big chart with all of our wonders about Europe and Asia so that we can see if we can answer them as a team over the next week or so. So let's get started. Front cover, back cover, spine. Our author writes the words. Her name is Rebecca Hirsch. And this is an informational text about Asia. So again, we see our table of contents, same as we had in our book yesterday. Welcome to Asia. Asia is the largest continent. It has more than 40 countries. Wow. And that is a picture of the Great Wall of China, which is in China, which is part of Asia. The largest pieces of land on earth are continents. There are seven. Asia is the yellow continent on this map. So there you can see a little bit closer the continent of Asia. Linked below are some songs and some videos about the seven continents and more specifically about Asia for today. People of Asia. Most of the world's people live in Asia. Some live in busy cities. So this is a street market in, in uh, Mumbai, India. Does that look similar to the market that you go to? Many people work in modern factories. Most of the world's computer parts are made in Asia. So here we see some people building some computer parts. Wow, that's a really important job because we use computers a lot. We wouldn't be able to do this lesson right now if we didn't have that kind of technology. Other people live in villages. They grow rice on farms. Most of the world's rice is from Asia. So if you enjoy eating rice, most of the world's rice comes from Asia. So 
thinking about what you wonder, you might wonder, how does rice grow? You might wonder, why does most of the rice grown in the world come from Asia? Thinking about those good wonder questions. Wild weather. Asia has monsoons. These are strong winds. In summer, monsoons bring heavy rains. So strong winds and heavy rain. So maybe you're thinking of something you wonder about monsoons. Some parts of Asia have cold, snowy winters. This is a snowy day in Japan. Ooh, amazing animals. Asia has lots of rare animals. Giant pandas live in Asia. Their favorite food is bamboo. So maybe you wonder something about pandas. Bengal tigers live in Asia's forests. Tigers are good hunters and like to swim. So maybe you're wondering something about these beautiful Bengal tigers. Wild places. Asia has forests. Some have many trees. Other forests grow bamboo plants. Hmm, so what do you wonder about their forests? Asia has deserts. The Gobi Desert is dry. Wind blows the sand and makes dunes. Ooh, what do you notice? What kind of animal do you notice on that page? What is something that you wonder about? Did you know that Asia had deserts? Mount Everest is in Asia. You might have heard about that before. It is the tallest mountain on earth. It is one of the many things that make Asia such a unique continent. Unique means special. So that is the tallest mountain in, on all of earth. Modern marvels. The Burj Khalifa is in Asia is the world's tallest building. I remember yesterday when we read about Europe, we saw the world's longest bridge. So now this says Asia has the world's tallest building. It has 160 floors. The building took almost six years to build. So it took as long as you've been here since you were born. That's how long it took to build this building. It is made of steel, concrete, and glass. Some people live in the Burj Khalifa. Others work in the offices. So there are homes in there. There are offices in there. Look at how tall that is, especially next to some of the other buildings in the picture. Do you have anything you wonder about that? Ooh, meet a Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons are the biggest lizards in the world. They use their tongues to smell. They can use their claws to climb trees. Komodo dragons live on islands in Asia. I believe that there is a Wild Kratz video that teaches us about Komodo dragons. I'm going to see if I can find it and link it below. Words to know. So dunes, that's the piles of sand, factory, mountain, and tiger. And then at the end of our book, we have our index which teaches us um, about the different places in the book we can find out more about things. So like if you want to learn about bamboo, you'll find this word bamboo and it tells you what page number they talked about bamboo on. So that was our informational text that just gave us a really quick little look about some cool things in Asia. So come up with something that you wonder about, send it to me or to your teacher and I will make a big chart with them. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed learning about this and I will see you all later.